Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to rendezvous with the Curiosity rover inside Gale Crater on the surface of Mars. That's where we're headed here in just a moment. I received a photo from a young lady by the name of Anna, and it was from the surface of Mars, but at the time she wasn't sure exactly where the photo was from. I did backtrack the photo, and I found that it came from the Curiosity rover, and it did a 360 degree panoramic view inside of the Gale Crater, and off in the distance you're going to see something that has a uncanny resemblance to an Aztec pyramid, an old pyramid that we see here around planet Earth. We're going to come back and take a much closer look at that here in just a minute. But first, we're here at the website, checking out the Schumann Resonance, looking good the last 24 to 36 hours, back to normal after the major spike we saw a few days ago, hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera. Business as usual at the Caldera. Anymore, there's a steady flow of energy, albeit small, across the Caldera, more than likely, some sort of magma movement, probably getting closer to the surface. It's been doing this now for, for several months. It's more busy over in the northwest quadrant, and it's actually quiet over here where you think it would be busy at Old Faithful. But nevertheless, there is a steady flow of activity across the supervolcano Caldera once again. Now we're hopping up to the surface of Mars. This is where Curiosity Rover has been for the last eight years, right inside that blue loop. And it sent back several thousand pictures. And they also created a panoramic view from inside Gale Crater. And the, the view is quite spectacular. The mountains off in the distance are they're actually well over 10,000 feet tall. But if you pay attention to the foreground here, as this is looking off into the distance, you're going to see something that looks familiar right in this area here. And, and all the photos that I'm about to share with you can be confirmed here. So here we go. We're going to zoom in. You starting to see what I'm seeing? See that right there? We're going to go in and take a much closer look, but there's three very obvious ones here. The one in the center looks like it has a square top to it, or at least some sort of angles. Maybe they're 90 degree angles. It's difficult to tell, but it definitely doesn't look like a random act of nature. Even though it very well may be, we're going to go in and take a closer look just for comparison's sake, and you're going to see how that resembles an old Aztec pyramid. So here we go. Here's the crater that's known as Gale Crater, and again, that rover has been there for several years. Here's another pano view of the Gale Crater. And now we're going to zoom in on a possible ancient pyramid, or at least a structure that looks very similar to an ancient pyramid that we see right here on Earth. They're all over planet Earth. And as you're seeing here, I put one in the photo that is similar to one here on Earth. See the top, how it's got that collar around the top, just like an Aztec pyramid. Obviously, the one on Mars is much more weathered. I'm surprised we can even see features like that on the surface. Here's another example of a pyramid that I found right here on Earth and put it side by side with the structure that we're looking at on Mars. And again, they, they have similarities. Same type of angles on the corners or on the edges. There's one over here that has a unique angle. See that right there? Flat top. That has a, a flat top, unique angles that look symmetrical. All of those angles look the same. Very interesting photo from the Curiosity rover. There's the pyramids over in Egypt. You've got three, the three main ones, and you've got three here in this photo from the Curiosity rover. There's the Aztec again overlaid on top of what appears to be some sort of a intelligently designed structure on the surface of Mars. And this is in the Gale Crater. Here it is again. I'm just putting it in different places just for perspective purposes, that's all. To me, it, it reminds me a lot of the Aztec pyramids. These here, if you look at the, the, the sides, they look very similar with regard to, you know, like the type of stone and, and blocks and stuff. I mean, they're both, even the ones on Earth, are, are very heavily weathered. And here's black and white, so they're all the same basic color. And you can see there's three very obvious structures right there in the foreground of these mountains in the background. And those mountains are well over 10,000 feet tall. Here's another format of the, the structures, and you can see the top of this one 
has a very obvious collar. That looks like a collar like you see on an Aztec pyramid. Really cool. Here's another close-up view side by side. And you can see the, the similarities. They're definitely there. The one on Mars looks much more weathered than the ones do on Earth for obvious reasons, more than likely much older, if in fact that's what we're looking at. But either way, they do have stunning similarities, and it sits right here inside the Gale Crater on the surface of our neighboring planet, planet Mars. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena that have been sent in from all around the world. Chad out of Covina, California. Looks like Neptune's trident flying through the air with a glowing tip. How about that? That's a first. Never seen one quite like that. Chris out of Mississippi. Notice what looked like a square up in the sky. Cloud looked much darker than its neighboring clouds. Greg out of Arvada. Very bright, fiery orange sky. I took this photo myself uh, just a few days ago. Was driving back home and noticed the sun was like a glowing orange. Almost looked like it was going nova, even though that's a cloud phenomenon right here on Earth. That's what it reminded me of, like a, a star going nova. Here's another view of the sun with an orange haze around it, sent in by Dana out of Mount Sinai, New York. Got an interesting cloud also in the proximity of the sun. Carrie out of Missouri, another fiery orange sky. Literally looks like flames up in the sky. Giuseppe out of London, got a purple rainbow. Purple clouds, purple rainbow, everything purple. Photo here sent in by Guy out of Rockford, Illinois. He noticed the outline of what looks like a giant craft just sitting up in the sky. Here it is in a different format. You can clearly see the, the sharp edges around whatever that may have been or, or could have been up in the sky don't know but it definitely looks like the outline of something hans out of holland notice something in this photograph here not claiming to know what this is neither is hans it just appeared in the photo looks like a shiny object that's round um, just doesn't fit in with clouds or birds or airplanes don't know what that is have honestly never seen anything quite like it that almost looks like the batman logo that's inverted, of course. Here's an incredible sky. Check this out. Texas, Henning K. Noticed a series of very large, long roll clouds. And I think there were like four in the same location. Look here. One, two, three. And then you've got four stacked on top of each other. And then three, at least three, maybe four, going off in the distance. Now that is quite rare. Great uh, camera work there by Hennig as he was driving his big rig truck through Texas. Good job, Hennig. James S. out of Roanoke, Virginia. I mean, that just speaks for itself. Incredible. Here's another photo by James out of Roanoke. Very intense, double-decker rainbow, almost right in front of him. You can see it reflecting off of the trees. Jason S. out of Southeast Pennsylvania. This almost looks like a triple Decker rainbow. Double for sure, but off here to the left, you can see what looks like a third rainbow. Heather V. got another very intense rainbow after a thunderstorm. Not exactly sure of the location. Jermaine out of North Washington. Got some unique clouds in the sky high above Washington. Liz B. out of Mexico City. Big beams spanning across the sky at sunset. Jennifer out of North Georgia. Very photogenic, colorful clouds. Get a load of that. They started out orange, and then after a few minutes, they turned into like a, a light purple or a, a very dark orange, and those are the same clouds. Here we've got what looks like a red gateway. Video sent in by Michelle out of Spearfish, South Dakota glowing sky this looks like the rainbow we saw over in london back a few weeks ago that the young lady captured on video as it was forming this one here had already formed but still made for a spectacular photo op if you guys are new viewers make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel click on this bell that way you'll be notified each time i upload a new video if you're current subscribers simply double check make sure you're still subscribed and make sure that bell is still activated if you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery, and sometimes I'll use them in a picture slideshow just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.